So Lou's still asleep. Good morning, sunshine. We're going to be eating breakfast in about 15 minutes. Are you in? Okay, bye. That ain't working out. So did he just wake up or what? Yeah. He said, maybe I'll skip breakfast and <laughs> what? sleep some more. Yeah, I'm stopping here, sir. <laughs> they got a wanted poster in the back with my face on it. What are you looking for? House. I see the accessories. Beats for every occasion. Every flavor of beets. Oh, the old school house. There is a chance that there's another store in here with a mouse. There's a chance. All right. Another problem with the 11 inch MacBook Air is that there's no HDMI or anything, which is fine, but there's no SD card slot, which is a big problem because I have to carry around an extra right. SD card reader. And I cheat down about 128 gig MacBook Air, so I have to keep a hard drive too. So right. if I had this, I would not only be able to have a better screen, I could like, just ditch both of them. The story here is that hotel Wi-Fi sucks, but the room that I have now has an ethernet connection, which is supposedly faster. Oh, it's 20. 20. Yeah. That's borderline. <coughs> That's highway robbery. This is a USB cable and then a dongle on the end to adapt it to micro USB. I don't know if I need all that. This is just a little sliver of an adapter on the end of your cable. But I'm totally going to lose it after like the third time I use it. So. Decisions. Oh! Oh! Hey! What? Just right walk in all casual right like that? The curved escalator. This is Gadget World. This is Gadget World. <laughs> I'm a gadget here. It's a world. It's a world of gadgets. It's stuff for your gadgets. So you call it that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, some mice. I know what you're looking for. Oh, there it is. There it is, man. Not looking good. But then again, there are plenty of there are plenty of mice up there that are not down here. Oh! All right, folks. This is the Performance MX. If you know anything about the world of mousing, this is the holy grail. Check out the ergonomics on that baby. Woo! It's beautiful. I think everybody here has one, right? Three. Marquez, John, Judner, you have one? Of course. Of course. Austin has one, I have one. Amy? Totally. How dare you lie like that? No, I do. You have a performance MX? No. All right. Josh, performance MX. Team MX. Feels like home. All right. Yeah, that's a beauty. So. You heard it here first, if you want the mouse that everybody uses, you want the mouse that Marquez uses, and John uses, Performance MX, all day, every day. We have an ethernet cable now, and the Thunderbolt adapter. There's a laptop. So far, speed tests on regular Wi-Fi are about three megabits up and down. Not cool. So let's do it. First of all, the Thunderbolt side. Done. Now, I know there's an ethernet jack back here. Yeah. We should pick it up right away, isn't it? Mmm, I'm not so sure. Cable unplugged. Uh, seems plugged into me. I may want to try one of the other. Yeah, I think that port might be disabled. Yeah, try one of the ones that are already plugged in. Exactly. It's just suspense mode right now. But, <laughs> certainly clicked. This is it, right? Thunderbolt to Ethernet. Cable unplugged. <laughs> Place it's in there. Mm. It's in there too tight. Oh sh damn. There we go. But is it the adapter? Is it the wall? I, it's gonna be, I think we might be have some trouble with the Ethernet. I don't think it's the adapter. How could it be a dead port? Okay, we're live. This port in the kitchen, for some reason, is the only one that's working, it's connected. But as you can see, oh, it just came up immediately. Look at that loading. <laughs> That's not good, right? That's not a good sign. Damn it! This is wired in Ethernet. How is that even possible? It somehow is capped. It's capped at three. It's somehow capped. They're doing some kind of distributed thing right now. All that effort they learned from last year. 
There's a new iPhone 6 Plus case that claims to be bend proof from a company called Incipio and their booth is just over here. They denied giving me one, which leads me to believe that it is not actually bend proof. But as a consequence of that, we're gonna send in the mercenaries. We got Austin Evans and Mr. John TLD and they're gonna try to work their magic as the non-bend guys to see if they can get the bend-proof case. Yeah. Good luck, dudes.